Today on the Comic Book Report, I'll be doing a haul video on three hardcover collections from the X-Men Dawn of X era. And while I haven't read many of these comics, so I won't be commenting on plot points, I will still be flipping through the collection. You've been advised. Now let's go ahead and check it out. Greetings all, my name is Dominic and you are once again tuning in to the Comic Book Report, where I review comic books and graphic novels so you can get an idea of what to read. For today's X-Men haul video, we'll be doing an unboxing here from InStockTrades.com. Now, this is a seller I've used a few times in the past, and I've always been very happy at the quality of packaging and the books presented. And they had a really good deal on some of these hardcovers, so I went ahead and saved up and made the purchase. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Let's go ahead and clear away some of the packing material here, and I can go ahead and liberate the three books we'll be taking a look at today. And if you didn't notice from the very beginning, those three books are the X-Force hardcover, the Wolverine hardcover, and the Inferno hardcover. These are all roughly the Dawn of X era. Inferno might be slightly after that. It's kind of an epilogue to all of Jonathan Hickman's X-Men stuff. And as you can see, these volumes are all warm colors, which is kind of fun to see. Now, all of the collections here are oversized hardcovers, which means they're about the same size as an omnibus as far as their height. And they all have glossy pages. I really like what this era of X-Men is doing, releasing a lot of their runs in this format. I have a few of the other ones, like Marauders and Excalibur. I did miss out on the House of X, Powers of Ten, and X of Swords hardcovers, which is a bummer. Um, but I do have those in paperback. And at any rate, I'm excited to add these hardcovers to my collection. Alright, and the first collection I'll be looking at here is the X-Force hardcover, collecting X-Force issues 1 through 12 by Benjamin Percy. These issues came out, I believe, in 2019 and 2020, if I'm correct. And I'm super eager to give this title a read. This is one I've really been wanting to check out. This, along with the Hellions, which I think their hardcover comes out in a few months from now. And now that we've had a good look under the dust jacket, we'll go ahead and dive into the collection proper. Uh, first thing I want to note, a lot of these collections have a very similar formatting style. You can see the art is pretty minimalistic as far as the design goes. All of the books are pretty vibrantly colored under the dust jacket. Usually have the symbol or the name of the series kind of imprinted as you just saw. That's really consistent throughout the rest of these hardcovers as well. And while they're all oversized and glossy prints, uh, I have to say that after looking at all three of these, for some reason the X-Force paper quality appears to be a bit less uh, than the other two collections. It's still a gloss, uh, but it really doesn't feel overly glossed. It is more than like a matte finish paper, uh, but the paper quality does seem to be a little bit less than the one I see in Wolverine and Inferno both. Uh, still great quality. I'm not concerned about tearing it or really having any issues. And the art they reproduce is just beautiful. I haven't seen a ton by this artist, but I'm pretty wowed just flipping through the collection. The art definitely has kind of a painted look to it, almost like an oil painting. Uh, and I do love seeing that. And it adds a lot of dimension and kind of grizzle to this title just by looking through it. And uh, I really love to see that. I think it really serves the subject matter quite well from what I know about X-Force. Uh, which is kind of little. Uh, what I know about X-Force is that it's essentially kind of the heavy security and or black ops team within the X-Men universe. They're called in on special assignments where usually killing is authorized. Lethal force is authorized. Um, so I know these books tend to be a little more violent. Sometimes they can be a bit dark or intense or action-packed. Uh, because of that, I am kind of excited to give it a read. Uh, you know, this does have some characters I quite like, like, of course, Wolverine. I was interested to see, like, Jean Grey and Beast in this as well. And Kid Omega, Quentin Quire. That's fun. Uh, looks like Domino's in here as well. And I'm just really interested to see what this book has to offer. Like I said, I haven't read a ton of X-Force, but I'm definitely interested to give this a read. I'm particularly interested to see how they handle Wolverine. I feel like Wolverine is handled oftentimes very well, 
and sometimes kind of so-so. I think recently I've read a lot of Wolverine comics too, where he's a bit more tame. You know, you don't see him going full on aggressive berserker. And I think that if he's going to do it anywhere other than a solo title, it's probably in the pages of an X Force. So I'm excited to see that. I love when Wolverine just goes all out and we get to see, you know, more of the claws, of course. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is good. If you're interested in this book or any of the ones coming up here, let me know. I'm happy to provide a full review. All right, and moving on, we're going to go ahead and go to the Wolverine hardcover by Benjamin Percy. This is a volume one, as was the X-Force, so, you know, there might be more. Yay, hopefully. Um, my understanding of this is it can kind of spin out of the pages of X-Force following Benjamin Percy's incarnation of Wolverine. I did have someone online recommend to me if I was interested in this title to read X-Force first. So that's what I'm planning to do personally when I read these volumes, but I had to see what the Dawn of X era Wolverine solo title was like, so I'm really eager to give this a look. This volume collects Wolverine issues 1 through 5 and issues 8 through 12. This is the 2020 Wolverine series. My understanding is issues 6 and 7 of Wolverine are included in the X of Swords event crossover, and I believe I can confirm that having just finished X of Swords myself. However, I doubt someone reading this volume will be missing too much, as the X of Swords crossover issues felt less like tie-in issues from each of these solo titles and more of like one continuous flowing narrative for their event. Um, so we'll see. I can't verify. I haven't read these issues yet, but I think if someone hadn't read X of Swords and they just pick up this volume, I have a feeling they'll be fine, even without reading issues 6 and 7. But let me know if you have more questions. Like I said, when I finish reading it, I'm happy to answer as able or I can provide a full review. As far as the paper quality, like I said, this and Inferno are a bit of a step up above the X-Force hardcover. Not really sure why. This is still a glossy print page. They're not like the old school Marvel omnibuses that were the nice, thick, thick, glossy paper. Um, but it's great. And this is a paper I've seen in a lot of their hardcovers recently. And it's perfectly serviceable. I like it. Um, there's sometimes a little bleed through the pages, which is obviously not great, um, but it's pretty minimal, at least from my experience. And as far as the art goes, it looks pretty good just from my flip through here. I think I might have preferred the art in X-Force, the kind of oil painted look. This art looks a little bit more cartoony here and there, um, but I think it serves Wolverine pretty well. I mean, I'm also reading the Wolverine and the X-Men omnibus right now. And that art style is certainly a bit more cartoony than I'm used to, but it just works so well. So I'm eager to see how this art feels when I actually go and read the content, see how it matches, and see what I think. And as I reach the end of this collection, I will say that all of these hardcovers have a nice cover art gallery in the back. I see some variant cover art, um, sometimes some sketch work, things like that, which I always love to see. I know it's kind of standard these days, but... I still love seeing it. I love seeing all the extra covers. Sound off in the comments as well if you've read any of these titles. I'd be really interested to hear other people's opinions as I go to read them myself. All right, and finally, last up on today's X-Men Dawn of X era haul video, we have the Inferno hardcover by Jonathan Hickman. I believe as of this recording, this is the last that Jonathan Hickman has written on these X-Men books. Inferno is a four-issue miniseries collecting Inferno issues one through four. This series came out in 2021. And it's supposed to be a pretty great read from what I've heard. I know what you're thinking, only four issues. That was kind of my concern as well. But it's still a great little book. I love that it's oversized art. Um, the art looks gorgeous, by the way, just kind of leafing through it a little. But almost everyone I know who's read this say it's worth the cost of entry, even for the four issues. I think of all of the titles I'm picking up today, I think that this is the one I'm most looking forward to reading. That being said, I'm going to start with X-Force, which is probably my second most excited. I'll probably read that, then Wolverine, then I'll make my way back to this Inferno. I did just finish X of Swords and the rest of Hickman's X-Men run, so I think I'm going to be primed to read this as well. Uh, I know I'm also finishing up Hellfire Gala, which I think is also preceding this. Um, so we'll see. I don't know how much of those readings are prerequisite to this. I'm assuming a majority of them. Um, but I'm really excited. What I know about this Inferno series is that Mystique gets 
pissed. Um, <laughs> if you've read House of X, Powers of Ten, you know that there's a setup with Mystique to get very mad, um, trying to be reunited with Destiny and being kind of thwarted from that by Professor X and Magneto, who are trying to stop that at any cost. Um, so I, I've heard that this is where things get bad and Mystique goes hard and tries to, you know, go gnarly. Uh, so we'll see. I can't really verify that. I haven't read this yet. I've had fairly minimal spoilers, so I'm excited to kind of go more or less clean slate into this read. Um, would love to hear people's thoughts on Inferno if you've read it. Um, but like I said, the feedback I've heard or just kind of read around online has been pretty positive for this title. And that's going to about wrap it up for this haul video as I complete this collection here. I gotta say, I really am enjoying my run through this kind of Dawn of X, Krakoa era of these X-Men books. While not all of them are like my favorite X-Men titles ever, it's like a fun experiment to see what the X-Men do in this kind of setup. And so I'm excited to read more chapters of that big overstory with Krakoa. Let me know what you think of this haul format for these videos. I'm trying something new by unboxing more than one book today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. And as always, this has been the Comic Book Report. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to give this video a like, a comment, or check out some of my other videos. Until next time, have a good one.